Well, my experience as a recruiter came in very handy to hire somebody from my out desk. And so what I was really looking for was not only somebody that was willing to do it, but somebody that really seemed uh, okay to do it. It was like, I've never done this before. Just like show me what to do. And I just found somebody that was very energetic and enthusiastic. And yeah. it was like the Southwest Airlines, I'll hire for attitude and then give them the skill, you know? Yeah. So that was my main thing that I was looking for and it, it worked out. That's cool. Um, what, how much revenue did a MyOutDesk virtual assistant generate for you if you could think back to that time in 2015 and 16? Yeah, well, I mean, they they helped me uh, quintuple my income. Like I, I, like I, that was one of my biggest real estate years ever. Um, okay. Because I was, I mean, I got like, I think I had like 42 listings that year, pretty much all from his boat and expired to cancel, just like doing this. Wow. So, um, it, it worked. It worked tremendously well. What I needed help with at the beginning was doing the work that took a lot of time, but that was also just like a template. Mm -hmm. So if we get a new client, 80% of what we do is a template. Like we have to customize 20% to them, their market, so on and so forth. But the systems that we use are all pretty much a template. And that's one of the things that works well for our agency because it's like walking into a restaurant and there's one thing on the menu. Like we're really laser focused and expert with that one thing. Yeah. And if you want seller leads, that's the one thing that we do in a very specific way. In fact, now we're primarily using YouTube. But the idea is that what we are doing with my Outdesk people is, I said, here's this process. When we have a new client, you have to build this new account. 80% of it is stock, but you have to customize this other part. And it takes hours for every new account. It takes hours to build all this stuff, if not nearly a day, depending on how much we have to do. So I'm like, right. I can't do that, right? I need to sell and I need to support people, right. which is a segue to the second thing that we do. So now once we had the process that we've done, and uh, they're able to uh, copy these templates and then make customizations accurately. I'm like, okay, now that's done. Now what else can we do? So then the next thing was, how do we streamline and automate this more? So I said, here's three programs that I think that we could use. Here's three different software systems. I'd love your input. Go spend a couple days just evaluating all of them, go through their Q and A, sign up for their webinars, with their demos, whatever. And yeah. then you tell me what you think is good. Like, here's what I want yeah. to have happen. But if you're the one that's using it, you should like it. So these are the three things that I, or the threes that I would be fine with. You tell me what you want. And so then she went out and she said, I would do, I like this one. I'm like, great. Now take this one, learn how to use it within the parameters of what we need. Like you don't need to learn everything, but here's like the 20% the, the of their features that we're going to use daily. Yeah. And go figure out like, how do we map our template and our customization to a process sheet inside this? Um, it's basically a project management software. So, so that's been super helpful. So in other words, we use my desk for uh, things that are templatized, the right word, templatized. And I make know, say that really fast, three times. <laughs> <laughs> then also uh, some research. So like today I said, hey, I have this project. We need to hire some people off of Fiverr, for example. Go, yep. Here's what we need. Here's like the type of video. Tell me who you think is personable and I'll kind of pick from one of those. And so we have lots of little research projects like that. Yeah. And then another thing that we use my Outdesk for is uh, support. So once we had an understanding of like how many support requests we were going to get and what types and when they were going to come in and stuff like that, then I yep. said, okay, now we, now we, didn't, we clearly need to set up a support email that's separate from just me. We need to set up a text number. And so she set all that up. And so when, when we get support requests, she's able to uh, answer, answer those questions. The majority of yep. questions we get are basically the same 20 questions. You just kind of have to memorize the answers with those same 20 questions and that's mostly what you get but you have to be prompt and on time and stuff like that so now i can also have uh, a support help desk too what advice would you give to somebody who hasn't like a marketing agency or a real estate person who hasn't used my out desk you know before what advice would you give them uh, well first i would say definitely 
consider it, right? <laughs> and consider where you can use help. So for me, I knew that I needed these couple of things that we've already talked about. And I said, yeah. what can I do and what should I do? And those are often different things, right? Like I can, mm -hmm. I could do all this, but is it worth my time? Could I be doing something that's more productive? And also give people direction. So although we give people the opportunity to do research and recommend things, we're not giving necessarily a huge blue ocean saying, go figure out our strategy. So I have yeah. a strategy and I have options for tactics. And then I give people uh, the opportunity to, to give recommendations on which tactics they think are gonna work for them, be of interest to them. Cause I want them to be happy too. And like, I don't wanna just be a boss and say, do this. If I can right. find some personal, with, with a personality trait or an interest, I want to try and give them things that are going to keep them interested, not only for their benefit, but selfishly for my benefit. In the end, they're going to be happy. They're going to stick around. They're going to show up on time. Which, by the way, I, I'm very, very, very happy uh, people show up before they're supposed to be in the office, in the office, stay late, yeah. no question. Like, very, very, very dedicated. So I, I appreciate that. So great job.